Hello everybody, this is Daniel here and today guys we are going to talk about the um, resources. This is a new thing I believe in Godot uh, 4 and is the best way for you to store information like uh, user uh, settings for the audio, video, whatever you want it uh, to store and instead of creating files and getting files um, using the file access uh, from uh, Godot, you can use this uh, resource thing to store information. I have done that on my SWAT uh, Rescue Time game for the Orange Pixel Game Jam. It's available now for you to play on each IO. You have the, the link in the description for each IO, so uh, check that out. Uh, so let's go no further uh, ado and let's start uh, working on our uh, resources. So as you guys can see I already created here a small um, configuration. I created two buttons, one to add, another to subtract values and a label, a label that will uh, receive information. On the code side uh, we are <coughs> calling uh, our components and we have the counter variable that will store um, the information that we need. Uh, then I added here our pressed and for both buttons and one will add information add uh, plus one on the counter and the other it will be minus one on the counter and then uh, we are sending uh, that uh, information for our label. However, we want to store uh, this uh, information uh, on, a, on a, um, a file or something, not uh, the same as the file from file access, but it will be uh, another file. Uh, and then when we uh, close and reopen our project or start uh, our scene, uh, the information will be loaded. So, for that we need to create uh, a new script that we are going to um, extend that uh, script uh, from uh, resources and then we are going to be able to work on the other uh, stuff. So, first things first, let's create our script. Okay, script, uh, I will call it um, counter, uh, say, counter settings just to be easier to get it. It is saved. Now let's open it. We don't need this and we are going to extend from resource and we are going to add a class name because it will be easier to call it later. So uh, counter settings. So this is a class that will extend uh, from resources and now we are going to be able to uh, call or to use all the information that we need. Uh, now since we are going to have uh, a counter, we need to add here a variable that will store that information. And for that, uh, I know that uh, in previous uh, Godot uh, versions you just uh, use the export um, word now here it's at uh, export and then you, whatever you want it uh, I will j we'll just call it uh, export and var uh, 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 let me <laughs> counter saved just to be easy to I'll save count. Save counter will be easier. It's a uh, int or it's a um, integer because and the defined value will be zero. Now we need to add two functions: one to save uh, the information, and the second one to load or create the resources file that we need to store this information. First we are going to create sorry the cre create the save function. 
okay and we are going to use the resource saver and now we are going to be able to save our information uh, the resource save safer is part of uh, the resource uh, you can check on the documentation for more information uh, I will uh, just show how to use it uh, basically you can save now here itself because it's uh, the class that we are using and we are going to use uh, to edit uh, on a file counter settings dot tres because it's the default um, this part here is the default um, type uh, file type for the resources and one thing one thing here instead of using res because it's for our uh, project we are going to use user and then this is going to store on the user side instead of the project side uh, and for our function that's it and now I think this is having an error for some reason okay I will check this later okay it's just a warning and now <coughs> let's start to create our uh, load or create function this one was, will be a static function so we need to add the static func func sorry, yes. and we are going to say load or create and now this is will be user settings the um, oh, sorry not user uh, I was thinking about another thing and it will return the user sorry the counter settings it's difficult today guys <laughs> um, it's Monday like Garfield I don't like Mondays uh, okay so we are going to create a variable call it resource just for you guys to understand a little bit and now we are going to counter settings sorry man today it's hard it will load the data not uh, the type of sources it's counter settings this is the type of our uh, resource variable <laughs> and now we are going to call this path here so by calling this path and we are going to say is as counter settings so the information that is coming from this file will be as our counter settings class that will contain our information I know it's a little bit confusing but at the end you will understand now we are going to verify if our resources resource contains anything if it contains we are going to say that our resource will be a new counter settings and I'm doing this wrong because it's not when it has information is when doesn't have information because if it the our resources is empty doesn't have any file then it will create that file and now we are going to return that resource and as you can see the, the issues disappeared so explaining this uh, again we have our class uh, counter settings that extends from resource we are exporting the safe counter variable as an integer equals to zero by default and we have our function to save that is uh, calling the resource saver it's part of the, our resource and we are saving the, the class itself on our file on the load and create uh, the load and create it will return a counter setting uh, sorry counter setting data type our resource or our variable resource will be uh, at uh, will be the same uh, it will be a counter settings uh, data type and we are loading the information <coughs> as a counter settings again this information will be 
our counter settings and uh, not another name here uh, it's when we don't have that file it will create that file uh, and doesn't matter if uh, as the file or not since it will be create we already have the file then it will be returning that the information of that file now <laughs> Okay, so since we already have what we need for our uh, resource, we are going to our node and being here on our node, what we are going to do is to create a new variable, call it, I will call the same counter uh, save just to be this and it will be uh, on the type let me just remove this because I was doing another thing and I was doing this wrong. This, sorry guys. Ah, damn it. It's not this, it's this, just that I want. So, okay, continue. Our counter save, it will be counter settings. And as you can see, it's showing here. So, what we need to do, what we need to do, it will be simple because since we already have uh, this information here, I will add uh, a new button, by the way, it will be the save button. Let me just add here a quick button, okay. Okay, let me just save uh, and save, it's up here. Okay, I don't, uh, don't worry about the layout, I'm not worrying as well, so I just, it's just to show you guys the the good stuff so um, let me just add quickly here the button yeah okay now uh, we have the other two buttons to add and remove that uh, sorry remove uh, values from the counter and adding to the uh, label so now uh, we are going to save it and to save that data we are going to counter will be save sorry counter dot let me just check here to do things correctly yeah data dot save I think it's this but first we need to pass information so counter save dot uh, how do we call it I don't remember let me just confirm save counter it was appearing there so it will be save counter it will be equal to our counter okay and after receiving the information it will get uh, that uh, it will change the value of saved counter to the same as a counter okay <laughs> it's a lot of stuff now what we are going to do it's to load that information and for that uh, here on ready we are going to say counter uh, save it will be equals to counter settings and we are going to call it our function load on create sorry it's already auto adding the parentheses so on our on ready we are checking or we are uh, saying that our variable counter save with it will uh, load or create the file sorry guys the file that we need so since we are um, creating or loading the file we can do another thing it's to say that our counter it will be equal to counters counter save dot save counter I know this is a little bit weird but okay it will be equal to that and our label will be uh, the text which will be the one that is on counter okay we don't need this process and let's run our project and check if everything is running smoothly so Okay, we didn't have any errors as you guys can see, probably uh, some warnings, but I'm not worried about that. And now, as you can see, we can head, we can uh, remove, I will put 10, 
I will save it and now I will close the project I, I don't cool I will don't will close the full project I just close the scene and reopen the scene and as you can see the tanning is here but I will I uh, now I will do I will close the project let me just quickly open the project again just a moment okay I will open the project it's not in the correct window okay my computer today is not helping as well <laughs> it's hard when your computer doesn't help okay and here we have the project again and now we are going to run it as and as you can see you have the value 10 do you remember that our our safe counter variable by default is zero okay uh, and I'm running the thingy here I will just put it for example minus six save it close it open it and you have here the minus six this is excellent excellent to store information regarding uh, your games I will just quickly show you guys the the ones for the uh, for the SWAT uh, rescue time let me just grab here the user settings as you guys can see it's basically that uh, this is uh, the simple stuff for the game uh, it's the export range you can head it like this saying what is the minimum the maximum and the steps uh, this those three were for the the volume on the settings and here was to check the current level and this one for the game over because since we are rescue hostages I need to have different um, text uh, on the game over or winning uh, screen in this case it will be the game over screen uh, that will contain uh, some some text and then you have the, the buttons to to run a restart a new level or to exit the game uh, and I think we are working with that on another script let me just uh, quickly yeah it's here uh, as you guys can see we are calling the user settings we are uh, loading or creating depending and then uh, I'm doing some validation here and uh, adding what is the current level because we don't want to since this game has, uh, uh, is randomized uh, uh, randomized on the levels we don't want the player to uh, play again on the level that he already played before the game over or winning whatever uh, that's why we are using here the current uh, level uh, that's it guys no not much to say about the resources as you can see it's easier to implement and you don't need to work with the file access and all that stuff to grab JSON and stuff like that uh, you just need to go and create this little file you can create uh, as many files as you want for uh, uh, many things for the audio for example you can have a user settings and then for your game you can have a game settings with a ton of stuff like this so uh, for today guys uh, I know this video is a little bit weird today but uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, and hope you guys um, understand it how to work with uh, resources uh, I don't know what will I will do on the next video so uh, click the like button subscribe uh, leave any comment if you need uh, any help on or something and see you guys on the next video bye bye